This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola of Shema Kinde. be the name of the Lord. What a beautiful day again. Somebody give God praise for his love that is higher than we can comprehend. Too high for us to reach. Too low that we can't come under it. Oh, blessed be your name, Jesus. You are so wonderful, so awesome. This morning, wherever you are, raise your hands and worship him. Thank him. Tell him how great, how awesome. Just bless his name. It's time to pray together. Worship him. Tell him. Thank him for his love. The love that does not fail. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Oh, we all know you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus is alive. You are welcome this morning. <laughs> All we want to do this morning is just to give him thanks. You know, when we talk of coming together to pray, thanksgiving is a very strong form of prayer. It's a form of prayer, but an unusual one, probably the most powerful of all. Hallelujah. Some don't know that giving thanks to God is part of praying. Not just a minor part, the main part. I want to read the scripture. Philippians 4, verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. It's like your prayer isn't complete until there is thanksgiving added to it. Hallelujah. Ephesians 5.20 talks about giving thanks at all times. You know, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our perfect example, wanted to multiply bread. And then the Bible says, he took the little that they gave to him. That was not even enough for just one person. 
and Jesus lifted it up. Bible says he gave thanks and then they broke and the bread multiplied. Later when the Bible was talking about that incident, the Bible said that where the Lord gave thanks, there is something about thanksgiving. Apostle Paul told them in 1 Timothy 2.1 that I exhort first of all that prayer supplication and giving of thanks be made for all men. Somebody listening to me this morning, I don't know what has been going on in your life. Maybe you lost, you've lost your joy. Maybe you are not very happy. Maybe you are not excited about your job, about what is going on in your home, in your family. What is going on in your ministry? The way to power it up again is to begin to give thanks to God. God is good not once in a while, not many times, not even most, most times. God is good all the time. Give praise to God this morning. See, it's not because everything looks good on the outside, but because you have decided to give him thanks. The Bible says, let everything that has breath. Maybe the only things not permitted to give him thanks are things without breath. No matter how messed up life might look to you, as long as you are alive, we must, you must give him thanks. When you do, his power goes into that situation. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Say it over and over again. Lord, we thank you. Lord, I thank you. Oh, can we take it a step further? Can you begin to thank him for the aspects of your life? Those aspects that they don't look as if uh, uh, they are looking good. You can also say thank you. Oh, glory to God. Thanksgiving is done by faith at times because we know ultimately all things will work together for our good. Yes, yes. Oh, you've tried to change your job, it's not changing. Now you, you don't like the job. You go to office looking sad, wearing a long face every day. Brother, sister, can't just give him praise. Maybe that marriage hasn't yielded what you thought, the fruit you thought would come from it. Now it's like you are on each other's throats. Can you still lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Do what I'm saying. It might sound strange. It might sound difficult. But you can pick those hands and say, Father, I thank you. Let's do it again. Lord, I give you praise. Now mention those areas disturbing you and praise God for them. Oh, Jesus, blessed be your name. Give him praise. Give him praise. Just thank him. Just thank him. Just worship him. Give him all the glory. Switch from complaining to thanking him. Oh, something happens in the heavens when we give thanks to God. Then something happens in your life when you give thanks to God. Praise him. Blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Say it again. And again and again, say thank you, Jesus. Just praise Him. Give Him all the glory. Lord, we honor you. We praise you. Oh, you are wonderful. You are marvelous. You are beautiful. Awesome, God. Thank you for your job. Thank you for where you are going to this morning. If you are at home, thank Him for your home, where you are. That you have roof over your head. Give Him praise. If you have nothing at all, you have your breath, that's why you are watching or listening to me. Give him thanks. Make this a daily practice to always find your hands going up. I'm looking at somebody. You are praising God right now. There is a turnaround in your office. The evil you are expecting will not happen. God has gone ahead of you. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is coming to that home. God is touching your children, touching your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. This year will not end without your testimony. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Your love is so 
God is good and His mercy endures forever. Your love is good.